Okay, so here's the next uh, clip we're going to take a look at. It's, uh, well, it's the next point from the Ireland-Finland game. It's a long point. There are 12 total possessions from both teams. And what I want to illustrate in this uh, little experiment is how I look at uh, teams when I'm analyzing film instead of looking at players or individual plays. And the specific thing we're going to focus on here is field position of after turns. So I'm going to show you all 12 uh, possessions, but only the first 10 seconds. So you can see how the teams get the disc moving after they gain possession and where they are on the field. So it's a long clip, you know, it's a little over two minutes because there's 12 possessions. So take a look and then uh, I'll come back and show you how I would look at this if I was analyzing this, uh, this footage sort of as a coach. That's nice, floaty pull from the Irish. Able to get down there. And it looks like the discussion has gone too long for me, in which case it should be contested and sent back. It's definitely a long discussion, quite a crucial one at this point in the game. We saw the handler position. Ransonen immediately busting deep. Yeah, wasting no time as they want to prevent this Irish zone from setting up. They've back with the Irish on offense. Done. Swings to Leahy. A lot of the Irish <coughs> leaders and stars, not on this D-line, some great defensive players, but maybe struggling to have the offensive prowess to bang air, but not sure if it's gonna work. But it is one of those D-line leaders, Claire Pugh, that comes back. That mark, you could feel like she was pressuring that D from when that cut started. Oh, that throw seemingly too high for Vestman. Ted for me for setting the sideline there. I thought I was gonna have to state it after seeing the replay. That was definitely out. Kleena Doyle can't hang on to that one. Again, so many opportunities for this Irish side to break, but they cannot capitalize. Uh, both teams will want to clamp down on these turnovers in this all-important point. Lee. Gets yeah, it's difficult for me to understand why the whole season is on the line here and a lot of the stars not on the pitch at this moment. Match with her offense, but there's Sinead on a shorter field now. Someone's got deep straight away. She rifles it, and that's going to be probably too far. No, it's caught. Emma Healy out of nowhere. The Cork woman gets a break. Okay, so I've labeled the starting positions uh, for both teams. I only have a black and a red marker in right now, but... Uh, black is where um, Finland starts with their possessions, and red is where uh, Ireland starts with their possessions. And so what you're seeing here, or what I'm seeing here, is Finland is have, have, having trouble moving the disc up the field. So you see that Ireland's possessions, you know, maybe their average starting spot is around half field. So. Uh, they only, they have very, sh well, not very short, but they have a short field to go after every Finland turn, whereas Ireland's turns are happening way downfield, and Finland's got a long field basically every single time. I mean, obviously off the pole they have a long field, but that's fine, so we can ignore that. But, you know, on average, maybe they have to go three quarters of the field the other way. The second thing I'm noticing is a lot of the times, out of the six possession, maybe four of them, Ireland's attacking immediately. It's almost like one pass in their downfield. Whereas uh, Finland is really struggling to, to move the disc. And so if I'm working, if I was working with Finland, I'd be really looking at this possession or this point and saying, how can we uh, look to get the disc moving a little bit more quickly? And when we're facing this Ireland zone, what can we do to get the disc down the field? Uh, and if I'm, if I'm working, if I was working with Ireland, what I'd, what I'd be actually very happy with is how they're attacking. It's sort of contrary to the commentary in the game film. I like what Ireland's doing here for the most part. They are, they are it's their D-line, but they're pushing the discs down the field, they're taking shots, and eventually, you know, that scoring pass at the end, that's awesome. So I, I like what I see here from Ireland. I like their attacking, uh, and, and um, if I'm playing Ireland, if I'm sort of scouting them, I have to notice that and know that right off of turns, they're attacking immediately. Uh, so, yeah, this is a very interesting uh, 
This is a very interesting possession. It's a long point, but you can learn a lot about both teams, and you can see different ways to either scout the teams or, if you're working with the teams, see different ways to improve.